Hey guys, normally you won't see a uh, review and done in a video, so I thought I'd change things up this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually play the games on this video card and let you see how the performance is. So you can let me know in the comments if you like this kind of review or would you like me to go back to the charts and the writing and if you want to view your review like that. So here I have the CPU-Z and the GPU-Z setup showing you that it's the HD5400 and the clocks on the video card confirming that it has GDDR3 512 megs of memory DirectX 11 shader model 5 support and on the right is the Intel Q9450 that's overclocked to 3.2 gigahertz right now it's idling so uh, it's idling at 2400 megahertz but when it goes into load it will go back up to 3.2 gigahertz so I'm gonna play a few games and I'm gonna record the video and I'm gonna let you guys see uh, how the performance is. I'm gonna put up a FPS counter from perhaps up in one of the corners so just take a look at that and see how, how the frame rate goes and I'll show you the settings on the game I'm using. So the first game I'm gonna be testing is Left 4 Dead 2 and since I expect this video card to be used mostly in home theater PCs uh, with light gaming so I have the resolution at 1360 by 768 which I expect to be resolution on most 720p TVs when connected to a computer so other settings I have is anti-aliasing is disabled since I don't uh, expect this video card to perform great with anti-aliasing enabled and if you're sitting far back from the TV I don't think you'll notice a difference between having it enabled or disabled and all the other settings I have on high and their maximum values multi-core rendering is enabled while vertical sync is disabled so let's go ahead and take a look at the performance with this video card So here I have the first chapter of the game, that's the Dead Center, and I'm going to try and play along, see how the performance is. That level worked pretty well, so now I'm gonna play through the Swamp Fever and see how the performance is here.
the performance is a little choppy here so I guess you'll need to uh, downgrade some of your image qualities but it's still playable if you release some of the co uh, image qualities uh, I'm sure it's playable So here I have the original Stalker game, that's the Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl and let's see what the performance on this is. So I have the render settings at static lighting, of course you can go up higher and set it to objects dynamic lighting or full dynamic lighting but I tried it full dynamic lighting and I couldn't get a very good performance out of it, barely playable. So I had to st set it to static lighting and then I could set the quality settings to high and still play quite comfortably so that's what I have right now static lighting quality settings are high and resolution is 1360 by 768 again so I haven't set any changed anything from advanced settings everything is set from here basic settings so let me show you the performance of this game As you can see quite good performance on static settings but I'm sure you can go one notch higher on the image quality settings at the expense of performance so if you get this card you can play all the games like stalker at quite reasonable settings and image quality